All righty, Captain. So earlier this week, we had a question about uh, creating this sort of look, uh, like a swirling sort of deformation with some rainbow like iridium highlights to make it look like there's glass sort of refractions. How can we get this effect looking in Notch? Uh, so for starters, this is using a plane with displacement. So if I go back to five, you notice that this plane actually has displaced geometry. Um, and to answer the question about the rainbow look, these three area lights, one red, one green, one blue, are above and in front of the mesh. So you can see as I move this around, they are giving us that nice fake sort of oil slick look. So pressing zero to go back to our camera. So let's have a look at how we do this. So let's turn off the twirl image first and let's turn off the bump map and turn off the displacement. So we have down here our fractal noise. Now mine is set to ridged. I've got this running through a couple of video nulls. One here is basically just so I can change this out and it doesn't affect any signal chain. You see here it splits to go up. This one goes to, again, there's a split here. So one split goes up to a color correction and this feeds into our displacement. Now the reason I've got a video null here is I can come into my color correction and add some gamma. I really want to change the way that it's displaced back to normal and this displacement is affected onto a shape 3d plane with 1000 by 1000 iterations again if i turn that off that live it is just a flat plane if i turn it back on it is nicely displaced so what else are we doing here now you can see this this looks kind of okay but it's not really displacing the texture here much so what you'll see is I've got the texture running into another video null. Again, this one's here just so I can swish this in and out so it's easy to connect. And this video null down here is actually parented to this 12. We don't need to worry about that just yet. But I have a bump map warp applied on top. So again, this fractal noise comes through. It's this video null. Splits down. So it's almost the same as the one feeding the displacement. But there's another color correction here in case I want to create more gamma, more contrast for my bump map warp. And this bump map warp, you can see, I turn it on and off, is actually warping the texture a lot more, but still having that same um, fractal noise drive it. So that's basically giving us this look. Um, the next one is the twirl. So if I turn the twirl on, the twirl is affecting the fractal noise at this first possible noise here. So you can see both the displacement and the bump map fractal noises are being twirled. But the twirl also can affect our image so you can see here if i disable this that the texture in passes all the way through so our squares look like squares still but if i want to connect this back up into my twirl then it's actually going to twirl the whole thing and make it look like the whole image is being spun around in the vortex so again we've got the three um area lights uh, for our reflections at the moment, I've got them spaced out in a unit of one, but if I bring them closer, so say negative 0.5, 0, and 0.5, you'll see that I get far more of an amber to blue sort of look as the colors are mixing. But the actual opposite thing happens again if I go to minus 2 and then 2. You get a much more defined red, green, blue sort of separation. And I find that the minus 1 especially for just the distances I've got it set up here. Give that nice sort of blended rainbow glassy sort of look like we're looking for. Okay, now again, this is a plane with a thousand by 1000 um, subdivisions. Um, and obviously on a 3090, oh, 4090, this doesn't really touch the sides. But if you are looking to save some performance, you may want to not use a display uh, subdivided plane, but instead use normal maps. So this other version I have down the bottom, it looks very similar, except for instead of a displacement map, we are actually using generated normals. So, um, the reason that'll disappear is because if you've got no normal map, but you've turned normals on, it will just go to black. And I need to set the back to one. Uh, let's go zero, zero. So there is absolutely nothing there. So this functions fairly similar in look to the previous video, but if I go into my five to look around, this is a perfectly flat plane. It still has the same lights reacting to it. That still treats light the same way. But this is all done inside of textures instead of actually displacing geometry. So all we've done to change this 
is we've disabled our displacement map. We've set our iterations back down to zero and we've added a generate normal node. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in, it does what it says it does. It takes the input from our um, fractal noise, which we've then got our color corrections under here and generates a normal map. Um, for here, you can see that it's, it's making it the other way around to what we had before. So we can come into an invert node. And if we wanted to, we could apply that to our other side here. So now we can see our, our normals are coming the other way around. So it's similar to the way we had it before. So this normal map then gets fed into the normal map input for our material. And for it to do anything at all, we actually have to come down where it's normally set to disabled. We have to set it to normal mapping tangent space. So yeah, now we are actually doing exactly the same thing as before. So I can turn the 12 image off. It's still displacing. It's still having the bump map displace the background, but it is not using a really high subdivision plane anymore. It's just using materials. And again, just at the bottom, I have some extra post effects and glows just to show it. Like you can just improve it a bit more. So again, if we want to take the 12 completely out, we take it out here. If we only want to take it out of the um, texture being fed through, we just delete it here. And then all of the displacement still has the 12s, but the actual texture itself is not being 12 so there are two different ways of handling the same effect um, with two very different processor intensities. Uh, I hope this was useful for you and uh, have a fantastic day.